Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is cleanup day. It's unfortunate, but I'm always talking to you guys about doing preventive maintenance and keeping your stuff up and going. And I was ignoring a symptom, which was random black speckles that were on my desktop and on equipment on occasion. And I was just putting it off and putting it off. And uh, today I have some new stuff I'm going to be setting up up here. And uh, I said, enough is enough. So you can see, I opened up the front cover on my uh, mini split and there are two filters that are normally in there, which I do clean, probably should clean them a little more often than that, but uh, I do spray them off and clean them. Um, I'm gonna have to make that a monthly PM uh, because the lack of airflow contributes to what we're seeing up here, which is mold buildup on the squirrel cage fan. So let's go ahead and take a closer look so I can show you what's going on. If you have a mini split, you probably have to do this too. All right, let's take a look. All right, guys, you can see I am creating an absolute mess and I probably destroyed this uh, cover that I got going on here because it is a bleach that I'm using. It's Clorox bleach foamer. And um, first off, there are two filters that are in the mini split and they come out the front. And after that, you have a uh, motorized section right here, which is a vent that tilts back and forth. And there's a set of louvers up and inside, which let's see, these guys right here. And you can see I popped these guys out and I've washed them off. I don't really know how functional these guys are. Um, I might leave these guys out permanently because they do make it more of a bear to clean. But the squirrel cage fan up there was covered in a growth. And you can see there are some areas which still have some on there, which I've been spraying out. You see, I've been spraying it out and you can see I also have a screwdriver that's indexing the head. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating this guy a little bit until I find a dry spot that hasn't been wetted down yet. And then I lightly place the number two Phillips up in between the blades, like so. And here we go, we continue on. And it is a tedious and disgusting task, but obviously it's something that has to be done. Ah. So instead of doing the videos that I wanted to do, I am here cleaning and doing regular preventive maintenance. Now you do have uh, two different uh, radiators up here. You've got one down here that goes downwards and then you have one up there. Now they are set at an angle so that they do form a drip tray. So it goes down towards the outspout, which is over here. So you gotta make sure that this guy here is level. And if anything, I, I have mine going up a few degrees so that any condensation on those, those grills right there does uh, collect and go out much quicker you know, everything I can do to help prevent growth like this, but maybe I have to cant it a few more degrees. I guess we'll find out. But uh, I sprayed down the grill, cleaned the grill. Obviously, I've got a lot more clean to do because you can see what's going on. This isn't in a garage, so, you know, it's going to get dirtier than usual anyway, and I was doing woodwork and stuff in here while this guy was running. But um, it's been a very good unit. This is a Chigo. I think I got it for like... $600. It's a 12,000 BTU. It's a two ton. Um, what else can I say about this guy? It's, it's 120 volt and it's been running like a champ, an absolute champ. The only thing that I had to do is uh, I have a temperature sensor outside and I did a video on that where I diagnosed it and uh, I changed it out and now it's been running for over a year since then. So it's been running really well. But as you can tell, I've already cleaned these pans a couple times, and this is the kind of growth that was happening up in there. So guys, just a regular maintenance. So I do try to practice what I preach, and uh, apparently maybe I let this one slide a little bit more than I should have, but if you guys do have a mini split, I suggest pulling the filters out and maybe taking a look up at the squirrel cage fan. Shine a flashlight up in there, take a look at it. If you got growth, you're going to be doing the same thing that I was doing. The witch, I pulled off uh, the flap. It was super simple. All you had to do is uh, separate it from these little gussets right here. 
and uh, then it pops out of one end right there and then that pulls it out of the drive end so the whole flap comes out which is outside it's, it's drying off and then uh, inside here you have a metal grill a metal grill which is to keep your stupid fingers out of there but uh, I pulled the metal grill out you know you just pop it out you know from the bottom and uh, then those louvers those little finger louvers stupid things but uh, I'm going to keep those out so I can clean it a little more often. And uh, I guess I will have to see how the bleach does on this. It, everything I see is plastic. And it's going to take several spray downs to clean it all out. You know, wipe it down. And you have to make sure that that uh, squirrel cage is balanced. Uh, right now, if I move it a few degrees and then take that screwdriver out, it will rotate. Which means it's not balanced. Which means I can't power it back up. So guys, you can see I've got a fan running over there on the ground because I've got a lot of cleaning to do in a very little amount of time because even though this garage is pretty well insulated, it's going to turn into an oven. And <laughs> I have to balance this uh, squirrel cage fan uh, before, before it gets too hot in here. That sucks, right? Anyway guys, hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned because I have a stack, a stack of boxes and I'm going to do an install right back here on my workbench. New test equipment, new stuff. I love it. Stay tuned, guys.